Transoia in the North Rift borders Bungoma, Uasingisho and West Pokot counties, with Kitale expected to be the county's economic and administrative headquarters. It has three constituencies. Kwanza, whose MP is Forestry and Wildlife Minister Dr. Noah Wekesa, Saboti represented by Eugene Wamalwa and Cherengany represented by Joshua Kutuny. Maize farming is Transoya's economic mainstay, a sector where you find peasants and large-scale farmers. This year, thanks to good rains, a bumper harvest was expected. But continuous heavy rains are impacting negatively on the harvesting process and the drying of the maize. Visit the farms and this is what you find. Uh, it's two o'clock, the skies are just about to open and there's no time. They have to cover this maze. The maze has not dried yet, it's a desperate situation and this is what they go through almost daily. If we really need to continue feeding this nation and stop getting food from other people outside, the farmer has to be subsidized by government. One of the incentives we are saying, let the government say, bring in your crop today. We'll pay you 2,300 shillings like we did last year. We'll pay you cash on delivery. Government should say, bring in your crop. It doesn't matter whether it's wet or not. We'll dry it for you. Now, if you thought poor prices and rains are the biggest challenges, then you have yet to travel on many of the roads in Transoia County. All the major roads to Kitale are dilapidated. We produce over 3 million commercial maize, um, you know, 3 million bags of commercial maize every year. Uh, one would have thought that uh, this road would be improved uh, to facilitate the movement of this produce to the rest of Kenya. The worst is the road that connects Transoia with Uganda through Swam Border Point, ironically, a place that holds potential for improved revenue collection. But what revenue with such wanting infrastructure? We have requested government that this road must be tarmacked because on the Uganda side, Kapchorwa to Swam is under construction so that we can increase the trade between the, the, the trade and of course movement of goods and services uh, between Uganda and ourselves. Insecurity emanating from cattle wrestling is the other challenge. They were coming all the way from Uganda, the Karamoja. They were traveling through the Pokots and then they come to, to, to Cherangani. Same thing to Kwanza, same thing to Saboti. Despite the challenges, the potential for untapped areas like tourism, horticulture and even coffee is great. Uh, this is something that can be done. We do also need to improve on the infrastructure. As you know, we have the second highest mountain, uh, Mount Elgon. There is untapped potential for, for tourism. Area residents have yet to understand the meaning of devolution and the various leadership roles that come with it, and leaders are planning to conduct civic education. In the meantime, former Maendeleo Yawanawake Chair Lady Zipora Kitonyi who was recently awarded a doctorate for a record in humanitarian work, is eyeing the position of women representative in the Senate. I have a, a wealth of experience. My life has been around women issues. The wife to Dr. Noah Wekesa, Jane Wekesa, also wants to be women representative in the Senate. Former Agriculture Minister William Kipruto Arab Kirwa is also said to be eyeing the senatorship. Eugene Wamalwa, a lawyer by training and a brother to former vice president, the late Michael Wamalwa Kijana, is aiming higher. I'm going for presidency come 2012. I want to remain a member of parliament. I want to defend my seat come 2012. Definitely MP, I don't want to be. I'd like to be either governor or um, senator. Wekesa, if you did not know, has played tennis and was once chair of the Kenya Lawn Tennis Association. He is a former safari rally driver. He is a veterinary expert with a degree from Edinburgh University in Scotland. He is also a top flower farmer in the country and has been playing a key role in coalition politics right from the formation of NAC in 2002 to the setting up of PNU in 2007. 
Some of the key landowners in Transoia are Raymond Moy, Philip Okundi, Cyrus Jirongo, Musalia Mudavadi, Fred Gumo, Sami Mwaita, former PC John Etemesi, former Trade Minister Dr. Muhisa Kitui, and former Local Government Minister Musikari Kombo. Others living here are the Mwangale family, former Ambassador to Japan Dennis Awori, and the family of former Makadara MP Fred Omido. Professionals are many, but just to name a few, Kiprono Kitonyi, chairman of Radio Africa that owns Keys and Classic FM and TV stations, former member of the Committee of Experts at Sango Chesoni, Paul Wekesa, former professional tennis player and son to Minister Noah Wekesa, and wildlife expert Nehemiah Rotich. Others are former director of National Parks Perez Olindo, former Kenya Seed MD Nathaniel Toom, and former PS Patrick Haemba. Credentials aside, are the leaders keen to provide the bridge that can transform this county? Alex Chamwada, Sunday Live in Transoia County.